that's a, a good thing. If we say my spirit, who's the my? Yeah. <laughs> right. Right? A spirit yeah. doesn't say my spirit. Right. Right? And so that's the whole point is that, and some people haven't been exposed to that type of teaching. I come up in a heavy teaching of spirit, soul, and body yeah. that really taught it that way. <clears throat> right? Yeah. They broke you down into three parts to try to explain things that they didn't understand. Yeah. And in doing that, they messed you up. I remember looking in the mirror, struggling to believe God loved me because I kept thinking I was a spirit and all I could see was my body and it didn't look so good what was coming out of my body. Right. And so all I could see was ugly. Exactly. Right? All I could see was, no, this part is, is wretched and this part is good. Yeah. Right? Well, I can't see that part that they say is good. So it was a struggle for me, right? Seeing that. And so for some people, that, that's a heavy thing. And so... The, the truth that we are not a spirit does not mean we don't have a spirit. Right. Key point. Right. Key exactly. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Key point. All right. <clears throat> so when you hear that we're not a spirit, that doesn't mean we don't have a spirit. Right. right? I got it. Yeah. And what I would go on to say about this, and people can disagree if they want, but I don't believe in soul sleep. So I don't believe while we're waiting for our, our glorified bodies to appear that we, we're nowhere yeah. because we're not a spirit. Right? I believe we're present with the Lord. Right. And I think there's a lot of evidence in the scriptures to, to suggest that. Right. When, when the resurrection happened, there were people that came up from the place of the dead that were walking around Jerusalem mm -hmm. that were seen. Mm -hmm. Well, they hadn't been glorified immortal yet because it wasn't the day of the resurrection. Right. So what was that? And what were they? Moses and Elijah stand on the Mount of Transfiguration. Right, right. And they're standing there. <laughs> now, we could say Elijah, you know, was translated, but Moses died. That's cool. Right? So they were standing there. And so I don't also don't want anybody to hear what I say when I say that and think that that means that our spirit can't doesn't exist. Right? Yeah. Or that we, we cease to be and go and have soul sleep. I don't believe in soul sleep. I don't believe that it's good news. I mean, I saw my wife almost start to cry when she thought that her grandma and her grandparents are just in the ground. You know, no consciousness at all. While... For how many thousands of years while they wait? Yeah. Right? right? That didn't make her feel nice. No. And I don't think the scriptures teach that. Paul right. said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. To be present with the Lord. Yeah. To be with the Lord. And so, don't let anybody hear what was taught and make that conclusion mm -hmm. either. Busy. Right? Does that make sense? Yes. Does everybody perfect. understand that? So, we don't want to draw extraneous conclusions from that thought. And we don't want to build a whole doctrine around this thing. Like one of the primary issues I have with the whole spirit, soul, and body thing is they take a verse that has three, take one verse, and there are other verses that talk about your spirit and this or that, but they build this whole extraneous doctrine. And so let us not, on the other side of explaining this, also build some huge extraneous doctrine where we jump to all these other conclusions. Let us just say that God called us human beings. We're Men. Man. Man means man and woman. Okay? So women don't feel left out of nowhere in the world that's very confused. Mm -hmm. Okay? Man means men and women. We are a man that has a spirit, soul, and a mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's it. Mm -hmm. I love what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 when he talks about the first man, Adam, was earthy. Then he talks about Jesus. And he's talking about Jesus, the resurrected Jesus. And listen to what he says. And the last man, the last Adam, the Lord calls him a man. Right. This is in his resurrected spiritual body state. He also calls him a man. So let us, from the whole taking of spirit, soul, and body, see that we are a human being, what uh, Genesis calls a living soul, and we are tripart being, just like Elohim mm -hmm. is Father, Son, and Spirit, and we have a spirit, soul, and a body. Right? But it's the whole thing that it is us. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? No, it does. I, 